Well, hey, good morning again. So I wanted to tell you about something. Let's see, I wanna go outside, but there's this bug that keeps beating. Here, let me show you. I have a bug that keeps beating against the window here. Um, I don't see it right now, but I'm sure that if I open it up, it's gonna fly in. Um, should I do it? Because what happened the other day is I was sitting on my sofa. Okay, so let me show you. So I was sitting on my sofa. I'm sitting down. And out of the corner of my eye, I catch some movement over there. And my glasses are a little bit funny because the way they're, they're cut and set into the frames... Um, if I move my head or my eyes, there's a little bit of distortion of light. So it looks like I'm seeing movement, but I'm not. Just a little bit. But this was something dark on the carpet. So I look. It's a lizard. So that has, to, yeah, I mean, I'm lucky it was just a lizard, right? With the kind of animals I've had out here. So now when I step outside, let's see, have I unlocked this? Yes. I look down here first. All right, hopefully the bug is not coming in. And then I close the sliding glass door really quickly. Of course, you know, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't mean that there's not going to be something up here, right? And of course, you've seen I've had snakes in the rafters before. Anyway, so I wanted to show you what appears to be working, all right? So you know I've got these green squirrel baffles. Actually, they're called squirrel and raccoon baffles on here. And oh, by the way, see this lovely hummingbird feeder? I stepped out my door yesterday morning and found this sitting on my welcome mat with a note. Apparently, I have some new neighbors and they said, we've seen all your bird feeders. They live up there somewhere. And we thought that you would enjoy this to add to your collection. Isn't that just lovely? Well, anyway, so the green things are squirrel and raccoon baffles. Now, I have not seen any raccoons here, but you know, if I've got possums and snakes and turtles and lizards and frogs and toads and all kinds of bugs and thankfully all kinds of birds. So I was having trouble because the snakes would come, actually they were gray rat snakes, and they would crawl up the bird feeder poles and let me show you something. Um, okay, so if you look up inside here, okay, what used to be, okay, see my finger? So there used to be a small hole up at the top and it was big enough for the snakes to crawl up through and I realized, and the snakes were eating birds. So I realized the problem was not the snakes. The problem was that they had access to the bird feeders. See, they would crawl up through those holes and up, and then they <laughs> sit in the bird feeder and wait for a meal to come by. So um, I got this all-weather tape, and I taped it around the top of those holes so that I don't think anything can get through. You know, and hopefully this tape is going to withstand the heat and the moisture and the rain and everything. We'll see. I can always put more on. And I haven't had any snakes here for, it's been over a week now. And I mean, I used to, you know, even after a snake would have a meal here, um, 
I would usually get another one within a couple of days or the same one coming back, oh, within four or five days anyway. So I really think that now I have uh, improved my squirrel baffles to exclude not only squirrels climbing up my bird feeders, but snakes too. So I just wanted you to know about that um, in case you have problems with snakes crawling up your bird feeders too. Anyhow, so um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go back inside, let the birds come back out here and enjoy themselves on all my various bird feeders and a little bird perch thing here that they enjoy sitting on as well. Have a good day.